Probably cross the ocean, maybe out of sea. I just wanna know you're still with me. Hi, my name is Anil Nair, and I'm an aerospace engineering student here at UCLA. And I'm gonna help you by going over some math concepts and examples. Good luck. The concept video for antiderivatives. So, capital F of x is the antiderivative. of f on some interval i if f prime or capital f prime of x is equal to lowercase f of x for all x on the interval i. So if f is the derivative or if one function is the derivative of the other, it's the rate of change of that function. But if one function is the antiderivative of the other, um, the other function is the derivative of the function in question. So, um, there are actually an infinite number um, there are infinite number of antiderivatives for any given function. And the reason that's the case um, they all differ by constant. The reason that's the case, um, if you look at this graphically, is if, um, let's say we have function f of x and function g of x, I'm going to call this capital. of x and capital G of x. Um, as you can see, the slope of the tangent line of each of these at each x value is the same. The only difference in these functions is that they are shifted up by some constant c. So if we took f prime of x, we get um, the same thing as g prime of x. And let's say their derivative is f of x. Um, f and g of x are antiderivatives of f. Um, sorry, this should be low case f. Um, with f of x just being g of x plus c. And you can imagine that c could be any sign, so we can get a whole bunch of functions that are just shifted up or shifted down. Um, so, some rules for anti differentiation. Some of the short rules for regular differentiation is a uh, uh, function and it's antiderivative here, and let's say f is the antiderivative of lowercase f, and g is also the antiderivative of lowercase g. Um, if we have k, some constant, times lowercase f, the antiderivative is k times capital F plus C. If we have two functions being added together, their antiderivatives are just their individual antiderivatives added together plus C. If we have polynomial um, x to the n with n not equal to negative 1, then if antiderivative is 1 plus or 1 over n plus 1, times x to the m plus 1 plus c. Um, if we have 1 over x, its antiderivative is ln absolute value of x plus c. We have some exponential a to the bx. Then its antiderivative is 1 over ln a times 1 over b, a to the bx plus c. 
and for the trig functions, we have sine ax, antiderivative is 1 over a, or negative 1 over a, cosine ax, plus c, we have cosine ax, its antiderivative is 1 over a, sine x, or sine ax, plus c. And if we have secant squared ax, its antiderivative is 1 over a, tangent ax plus c. And there's a whole bunch more trig functions and a whole bunch of more antiderivatives, but these are the basic ones, and with these you can um, begin to look at antiderivatives. Antiderivatives are very important when it comes to integration for your next calculus course, so it's good to understand how it works. Just wanna know you're good girl, darling, won't you